back again. Here we are. It is a brand new year. Brand new year. Well, brand new Julian calendar. You know yes, I mean? yes. We've been correct. celebrating New Year since Advent 1, but not everybody can be like us. Correct. We are saying goodbye to 2021. Thank God. Uh, 2020 is even further in the rear view. Now it's 2022. Now it's 2022. You know what else happened in mm. 2022? Mm. Soylent Green. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So, Look it up, kids. Kids, yeah, you don't know what that is. Um, your parents might. Your grandparents probably do. They know. Yeah, they yeah. definitely know. Grandparents know. Parents traumatized a little bit, but yeah, yeah. have them look it up. Look yeah, it up. so something else to be afraid of. I mean, that's basically what this podcast has become is, look it up, kids. Yeah. Just look it up. Yeah, look it up. showing... Us uh, showing our, our age and 30s everything. 30s age, yeah, yeah, for sure. But 2022. Got any resolutions? I, I don't. You're doing? You know, I, I, resolutions are uh, kind of a, a mixed bag for me. Um, I think everyone's favorite resolution is losing weight. We were just talking about this. Yep, yep. I would love to lose some weight. Yep. Some of those pounds lose I put in on 2021. Pat, I love the way you look. Thank you. But if you don't love the way you look, then that's that's what matters. Yep. You gotta love. You gotta I, love I would like to be. I would like to be healthier. Um, yep. I don't know. Do you have any resolutions? What do you think? I mean, I always, I always have the one losing the weight. You know, that's why Weight Watchers becomes big. The gym's always full. Beginning of the year, reading resolutions. I always like reading a bunch of books. Read more. I would type thing. I should probably make a reading resolution, but yeah. watching television is so much easier. It is. Well, I mean, Netflix. It's like you're, you're not reading a book, and all of a sudden. I'm, after five, five, ugh, I can't talk today. Five chapters of the book. It says, "Are you still reading?" Yep. You know it doesn't do that. Netflix helps you yep. by saying, "Are you still sitting there, not moving, eating Cheetos on your beanbag, watching this?" Yes, I am. Um, Time out. Favorite kind of Cheeto? Whew, I I know I'm bad, and this is bad, but I like the puffies. I like the puffies too. I like puffy Cheetos. Yeah. So there's a party mix. I don't know if you've ever had it. Ooh. So there's a Cheeto party mix. That has puffy Cheetos, regular Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Then it's like the X's and O's Cheetos. Ooh, yeah. And then it has Parmesan puffs. Ooh. That's not... Oh, I saw that. One of our... our it's hard to get. It's hard to find. One of our members here, their child, and this is what I mean, child, like two-year-old, had that. And I tried taking some. Yes. And the child started crying. Yes, because so it's I gave amazing. It, I gave them back to the child. Because it's actually amazing. Okay. Yeah. So I so should have just taken it and said, buck up. I'm your pastor. I baptized you. Gave you eternal life. Get over it. 100%. God, I should have. If I can go back in time. If you can ever find the party mix in stories, you should, you should get it. Okay, back to resolutions. Back. But no, but even there. Yet again, that's why the weight loss resolution ends up being a little yep. difficult. Yep. I mean, there's the reading one. Read the Bible in a year. I always try to... See, people, you know I'm going to read the Bible yeah. in a year. But the thing is with reading the Bible in a year, are you actually retaining any of it? Or right. are you just like... You, Speed reading a chapter a day kind of thing. Yeah, you don't want to make the Bible like this. Okay, i got to do this. Well, no, Bible is gift. It's a gift from God to you. So I've never been too on board with like trying to do that. Um, just because it makes it more burdensome right. than joyful to do. So, you know, yell less... Don't get in so much road right now. I'm kidding. But no, it's, it's hard to keep resolutions because you're good the first week. You're good the second week because every, but that's the thing. Everybody's kind of resolved at that time. Mm -hmm. Beginning of the new year. Everybody's resolved to do something. Right. And as the time goes on, everyone keeps dropping. And then by the time it's just you. Well, because eventually you, know, you, you kind of succumb to the sinful flesh. And I really want to eat that bag of Cheetos. Yeah. You want the Cheetos, that, the you want the is strong. Yeah. You want to do these things. And and that's the thing is, like, um, for for New Year's Eve, the reading is Luke, oh, Luke, I think Luke 12, like 34 through 40. And it's, you know, be watchful for you never know when the master is coming. Mm -hmm. A lot of churches, they'll actually celebrate the um, eve of the circumcision of Christ, Luke 2, 21. Mm -hmm. Christ being circumcised for us. And I like that one a lot better. Because it makes a point of, like, the law. I mean, that's kind of what I resolved to do. I want to keep the Ten Commandments this year. I want to walk as perfectly as I can as a child of God. But that's something we do every day. And we fail. Fail no matter what. We fail. I mean, we fail miserably. That doesn't mean we give up doing it. We desire to do it again. But, it, but why do we desire to do it, I guess, is the question. Why do you want to lose the weight? Why do you want to read more? Why do you want to save more money? What's, what's the drive behind it, I guess? That's the question to ask. What's the well, I mean, drive I, behind the resolution? We're always looking after that, I mean, that personal sanctification where we, mm -hmm. we want to be better. 
yeah. um, for ourselves, and we want to search for those things that are going to make us feel more complete and more yeah. whole. Right. Um, whether that's not being on the edge of a heart attack or or feeling more worldly because and educated because you're reading, etc. Right. Well, and even with like losing weight, I love it. It's always, well, I want to lose weight because I want to just be there for my family. I want to be there for... Like, no, I would really love if I could stay entered in a mirror and have like six-pack abs. That'd be, be pretty, pretty sweet. Sick. Yeah. It'd be pretty sweet if when I go to the beach, they don't yell out manatee or something <laughs> like that. You know? That'd be pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind... <laughs> Being beach able, being, yeah, being the guy at the gym, they go, I want to look like that guy. That'd be, that's why I want to lose. Just admit it then, you know, or even the, the reading. Yeah, why do I want to read more? I mean, I like reading, but also, yeah, I sound smarter than you. Yep. And that's the thing is, what's the motive behind the resolution? Even with keeping the law, what's your motive behind it? Are you keeping it because you think now God's going to be happier with you because mm-hmm. you kept it? Or do you desire to keep it because this is just... What actually makes you yeah. happy. Or you think it's going that's what's going to save you. Yeah. Ultimately. So that's the thing is is and if it's if it's those things, then it's a bad resolution. We don't really get resolved to do anything. If it's something you love doing, you're just going to do it. Yep. If you like being healthy, you're going to do it. If you like reading, you're gonna do it. And like I, I had one one woman said, I resolved not to eat chocolate. I said, Who hurt you? Mm. Who who did something to you? Why would you do that to Like yourself? I'll give up certain things. Oh will you give up no so like foods, mm, well, I, mm, I, yeah, I could give up certain soda. sodas. Yeah, I could give up certain. I like, give up like if you said, Chris, you can't have a Fresca this year. You're like, okay, I can do that. Right. I can, I can go without a tab. Fresca. Could give yeah. up a tab. But if you said, Chris, you, you got to go without Coke. Coke, Coke, Coke like Coca Cola, not because in the South we say Coke for everything, but Coca Cola, I'd say, mm, be kind of hard to do that. I yeah. like Coca Cola. I like chocolate. I like these things. Um, but that's when it gets back to motive again. Why am I? What's the driving force behind doing this? And that's why it's different with, with us in Christ. That's the only way we can really be resolved to do something properly is knowing that Christ has already resolved to save us. Right. He's freed us. We're free people, freed Christians. That's, that's literally what Luther means. You knew that about Luther, right? How he got his name, El, El Eutheros. He's Martin the Freedman. We're freed people to love and to be resolved in loving our neighbor. So then, yeah, I can lose weight to be there for my family. I can do these things to be a better person for other people. But outside of knowing who I am in Christ, I'm always going to be resolved to do something for myself. Mm -hmm. So that's the big issue. So maybe that's the thing is what are, it's not resolutions are bad. It's why are you doing them? What are you trying to gain with it? What's the motive? What's compelling you? And ultimately we're freed from our resolutions, even though we can't complete them. Yeah. You're going to fail. Yep. And that's the thing is what do we do when we fail? We, we, beat ourselves up you know you do so well on the diet you lose the first 15 pounds and then you go to water burger and pig out you know yeah. or you go to that that asian buffet place that has like everything and why, the sushi why do they have pizza there i've always been confused yep. why there's pizza chicken there. nuggets pizza sushi and the uh yeah and the ice cream machine the ice cream machine. you can do everything there best and, soft serve comes from mexican restaurants oh it does from, indeed and from the Japanese Japanese steakhouse like yeah. buffet place yeah. Yeah. you know but that's the thing is you pig out and you gain 12 pounds and you beat yourself up and like well never mind then but that's the thing it's like with us in the law we desire to keep the law and we fail at it instead of beating ourselves up and despairing we know that this is why Christ died for us he died that we may be forgiven so then you just go back into your vocation and live knowing I'm not saved by doing you're not a terrible person for messing up on your resolutions. You are a fallen human being. Right. It's the same with the law. Should you keep it? Yes. Do you want to keep it? By faith? Yes. Course, yes. Do you? No. But that's why Christ died for you. So you're freed from the burden of that guilt. Because how often do we just beat ourselves up over things we've done? Since we've committed mistakes we've made. Always. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yep. Um, but that's, but that's also, that's the world preaching to us. We're always being preached at. You know, it's not just on Sunday morning with the sermon. You're always having sermons. TikTok preaches to you. Facebook preaches right. to you. TV shows preach to you. It's always happening. And they don't offer any actual comfort. No gospel. You have to have that in church. Mm-hmm. Receive that gift that you're not defined by all this stuff. Even if you do keep the resolution for the year. Even if you lose 120 pounds. Not you personally. You don't have to. But if, you, but if anyone, like, you lose the hundred and something pounds, you're still you. You know? I mean, is that, is that now where your happiness is? 
So that's the other thing. Even if you do keep the law, that's still not your happiness. Your happiness is in being loved by God. That's where the happiness is, the joy. is not in keeping our resolutions and fulfilling them. It's in knowing who we are in Christ, knowing who we are for, with other people. So it's fun times. Amen. That's, right? I don't think I'm going to set any resolutions this year. Yes, Maybe the way one. No, no, Maybe we'll do it together. That, yeah. That'll become our podcast, yeah. you know? The two bears who lost weight together. I tell you, too fun. Oh, goodness All gracious. right, that's our episode for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, we hope to see you and uh, have you join us next week for there and back again. We'll find something fun, uh, hopefully fun, maybe something sad. You never know. Never know what's uh, going to happen. Something to talk about. Uh, check out our other content with Higher Things. Uh, Under the Cross is up and posting. We're all very excited. Uh, the first episode posted last week. The second will be posting this week. Uh, check it out. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Fun times, man.